Graham Green. Boy, it is your boy, Graham Green, and we are back with another Graham Green Graham Cam extended edit. And this one is a very special one because it is of me and my father Shivers playing at a pop up show, Philadelphia. And let me tell you guys, this shit was fire, flames, way go, no lie. But before moving forward, my name is Graham Green. I am a videographer, vlogger, DJ, and aspiring producer, bringing you the most lit and epic content from the underground rhythm and dubstep scene. I've been doing it since 2015, and since then, taking up my own journey, going through this crazy world of DJing and producing and bringing you guys along for the ride. Welcome back, guys. I know, are you guys excited as I am? Shivers, he came to spend a week with me, my house in Jersey, and we got to bull about. It was an amazing time. First show that we were supposed to have was in New York, but as you guys know from that previous vlog, it didn't really work out, but your boy saved the night and was able to make something happen. The homie in Philadelphia who runs Just Glow, Steve, decided to throw a pop-up show to make up for what happened that previous Saturday. A lot of people tried to go out to the show, they couldn't make it, so he was like, hey, fuck it, I got a venue, let's make this happen. We're like, let's do it, no problem. The next day, Shivers would be flying out to Toronto, so it would be my last night with him. And I felt like this would be a perfect way to conclude the trip that we had, the amazing trip of creating content and having an amazing time together. That Thursday, we headed down to Philadelphia, me, Shivers, and one of my best friends, Niall Snail the Stoner, and we made our way all the way down there. One thing that Jermaine wanted to do for so long was go on the steps of Philadelphia, you know, the Rocky steps and run up them. We were trying to do that before last year for the Monsters Ball, but it was too busy and he had to catch a fly a couple hours later, so we didn't do that. But this year we had enough time, so I took him to the steps. There's some clips of us running up those steps. It was actually very cute and wholesome. I really like providing, not only for Jermaine, but all my friends, all the artists that come through to the East Coast, I always try to take care of them, show them around, and just give them company, because a lot of the time I know that travel schedules can be crazy, I always like to provide. Overall, a great night. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys know about the Philly Warehouse, where Infect played MLK, all these different people. I played there a couple times as well. Unfortunately, that warehouse is no longer viable. It's not open, it's not happening anymore, I know. But the man Steve has a backup plan and he got a new venue, which was popping. Such an intimate feel with all the people there, over 200 kids, and it was just an amazing time overall. So you guys are gonna see in these clips, the fire that perspired but enough of the talk let's get into this edit don't forget to do that thing like comment and subscribe let me know what you think of this and cheers Do it. Do it. Don't do it. You're gonna regret it. So before the show, me, Jermaine, and Snail, we go to Target to look for some LOL dolls. What are LOL dolls? Well, Jermaine has two beautiful daughters that I love very much, 
and for Christmas he wanted to provide them the best gifts possible because he's a great dad obviously so he had this mission of finding these LOL dolls, which are kind of hard to find. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was only able to find one of the three that we were looking for. We go to Target to see if we would be able to find any. We, we didn't, but you know, it, it's kind of fucking crazy world that I live in where right before throwing down some of the most aggressive rhythm out there, chopping up a storm, we're at Target looking for dolls. <laughs> the contrast is just so beautiful, I love it. Even hanging out with me too much.
made it to the end of another Graham Greene Graham Cam extended edit, and this time it was of your boy and his father, Shivers, throwing it down at the Philly pop-up show. Thanks to the people at Just Glow. An amazing time. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting. Philly has to be one of my favorite vibes out here. And this brings me to my next point here. I started going to shows in 2010, right? It was a different world. There was barely any dubstep. A couple years flow by, and then we're starting to see more dubstep, more the emergence of the underground scene. You know, the East Coast has been a very difficult market to penetrate, and the venues here are far and few between, but the vibe that the East Coast has created for itself, for the rhythm, for the underground dubstep, is just insane. And seeing all these people who come to these shows from hours away. I thought I was driving far for these shows, but these people are driving even further than I ever did. And the dedication and support that these people have just really ah, makes me so happy. At this point in my life, your boy was doing great. This is like, December was the first time in a very long time that I felt like I was in control of things, that things were flowing well. And I really have to give a mega shout out to my Papa Shivers who came and spent time with me and reminded me that I have such a good thing going here with Graham Green, with the videos, with the DJing, with everything that I need to keep it up. Every year he is just such an amazing source of inspiration and motivation for me to continue pushing the culture for myself, for him, for everyone to show everyone that this is a life that's possible for you, but you need to be conscious of your decisions. You need to remain humble and genuine because that's the only reason me and Jermaine have made it so far is because we are real people. And the number one advice I can give to anyone out there is just, just be real. There's no reason to be fake and just work hard and your, your craft will show itself to people. Just like I did back in the day. I just worked really hard, traveled everywhere, and eventually people started to notice what I was doing. It did take some time, but it was definitely fucking worth it. That's the end of this edit. Uh, I was very sad to see Jermaine go, cause you know, oh, I love him so much. But he had to go and do his things, and I had to go and do my things. Uh, what would happen after this? Ooh, I would be going to Vegas and LA very soon, but that's for another vlog, and I'll get into that very soon, because that trip was amazing as well. Like I said before, thank you guys for supporting me and seeing me grow throughout the months. Like, when I started this in uh, May, pretty much recapping everything that I would do, I really wanted to show you guys that there is an improvement, there is a change in me, because I started off at the lowest point I could have ever started off, feeling like shit, feeling like I didn't deserve what I was working towards, thinking that I'm the worst, my self-esteem was shit, I had no confidence in anything like that, but now we're here a couple months later and I can tell you truthfully from the bottom of my heart that I feel so much better and I really gotta thank all you guys for that. So, thanks and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers! Okay, ready? I'll be close behind me. I'll be literally right behind you so fast you're gonna be like, damn, set. Go! <laughs> He's Fuck that shit! You don't wanna do it! Keep walking, keep walking, no. he's so indecisive! <laughs> you don't wanna do it! Mom, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, they do that, yeah. They know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, let's go. Let's get the going then. Let's get the going. Let me get my Go. Alright, ready? Set. <laughs> Bye now. Bam <laughs> <laughs> Green.